just to hit the high points here uh, from an investment standpoint, for those of you that have never done a development deal with REM, some of these numbers might pop off the page. They do for me because we're talking about a preferred return of 15%. That is cumulative each year, not compounding, but cumulative, meaning if this is a three-year project in the development phase, you have a 45% preferred hurdle before REM makes any money at all. And so if you're used to the value add deals at 8%, this is nearly double the hurdle for REM to make any money. That means we are highly motivated to get this right, to get you your pref before anything comes back into Robert's pocket. So I think that is something to really consider when we look back at the risk-based slide that we talked about, a little bit more risk, moderate risk, but a really solid return. Projected equity multiple, 2x in two to four years, based on what we talked about previously on the timeline, and a projected IRR of 25 to 30%. Robert, anything you want to add there? No, that's perfect. Yep. Phase two. We've had a lot of questions about this. And as a value investor myself, this is the thing that I am most excited about. Because if I, if I were thinking about, okay, I'm going to go make this investment. REM is going to execute on this business plan. And in say 30 months, I'm going to take my money back out and, and be down the road. There's a couple of things there that I have to consider. Taxes for one. And two, I have to go find another place for that money when reality is I want to invest in downtown St. Pete. And so we are opening up the opportunity for every investor that if you would like to take your gains from the first phase of this, which is the development phase, and roll those into the stabilization phase, we're putting the same terms as we typically do on the value add for phase two. So let's say theoretically that you put $200,000 into the development phase, and that turns into $400,000 at the end of you know, two and a half, three years. That means that you will then roll into an 8% preferred return scenario with the same splits that you're already used to. And your cash on cash from your starting investment is probably going to look like 15 to 20%. That means a $2,000 or a $200,000 investment is going to turn into 30 to $40,000 of yearly cash flow in a property like this in downtown St. Pete. That's a projected IRR in phase two, not to be confused with the development phase of 15% as well continually. And it's really heavy on the cash side, which speaks to me well. Robert, anything there that I left out that you'd like to touch on? No, that was great. I think, you know, the the key that you touched on was the tax savings at the end of the day. Uh, the beauty yep. of this is that you can put your investment in, double the money, roll it tax free, and then get cash on cash return. Plus, we're going to do a refinance with most likely a good chunk of that money coming back. So it's kind of a win-win. You're able to to get the returns on the increased uh, basis and still get some of that capital back. So kind of a win-win. And you're left with a nice chunk of a Class A asset in a phenomenal market. So. Absolutely. And I think it's important to note, though, let's say you get two and a half years down the line and, and you've got a wedding to pay for or college or something like that. You have the, the right to take your money out and go if you would like. So we wanted to give people the right, but not the obligation to join us in phase two, because we do anticipate holding this property for the long term. 